Today I'm going to show you how to create a simple illustration using JavaScript and the HTML5 canvas element. I will be using some experimental features such as path 2D objects. So if you want to follow along, I suggest that you use either Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox as your browser. Here's the illustration we will be creating now. It is a very simple illustration I created using Adobe Photoshop. If you observe it carefully, you can see that it is composed of these basic shapes and solid colors. Alright, let's get started now. First, let's add the usual HTML5 boilerplate code to our page. If you have the Emmet extension for your text editor, you can generate this automatically by typing in an exclamatory mark and pressing tab. I'm going to set the title of this page to my illustration. Okay, now we need to add the HTML5 canvas element inside the body of this page. Adding it is just like adding any other HTML tag. I'm going to set its ID to my canvas. Next, we need to specify how big our canvas is. For now, let's say the width is 200 and the height is also 200. You can see the outline of our canvas here. Let's move on to writing some JavaScript code now. We are going to write all our code inside a function called draw illustration. So create it first. Inside this function, get a reference to the canvas element using the document.getElementById method. Because we will be creating a two-dimensional illustration in the screencast, we must now get a reference to the 2D rendering context of our canvas. To do so, use the getContext method and pass 2D as an argument to it. Now that we have the context, we can start drawing on our canvas. But to simplify our job, let us now pick a reference point. This is a point we will be using to arrive at the coordinates of all the other points of our illustration. This can really be any random point. For now, let's say the x coordinate of our reference point is 20 and its y coordinate is 80. Next, we need to decide how big the envelope in our illustration is going to be. Let's say its width is 160. Its height can be 80. Okay, with these values, we can start drawing the shapes of our illustration. Let's start by drawing the first shape here, which is a rhombus. We will be using path 2D objects to draw our shapes because the path 2D approach is more modular and reusable. So create a new variable to represent the shape. I will call it shape1 and initialize it using the path2d constructor. The canvas API doesn't have any method to create a rhombus. So we need to draw its individual lines manually. Before we start drawing, we need to specify the coordinates of the first point of our shape, which for now are same as the coordinates of our reference point. To do so, call the moveTo method and pass x and y as arguments to it. Next, we need to draw a line to this point. To do so, we must use the line2 method. The x coordinate of the point is at the center of the envelope. So, pass x plus width by 2. Its y coordinate is above the reference point. So, use y minus height by 2. Similarly, create a line to the third point, which is at the extreme right of the envelope. The fourth point is below the reference point. So use x plus width by 2 and y plus height by 2 as the coordinates of this point. Lastly, to return to our starting point and complete our shape, we can use the close path method. Our first shape is ready. To render it on our canvas, use the context stroke method. For all this code to run, we must call raw illustration somewhere. So let's do it right here. If we refresh the page now, we can see the outline of our rhombus. But we want our shape to be filled with a solid color. Therefore, replace the stroke method with the fill method. Our shape is now filled with the default color, which is black. I have picked the colors of this illustration from Google's material design colors page. So here, the color of the rhombus is a dark shade of teal. 800 to be more precise. To use this color, we must set the fill style property of the context right before the call to the fill method. If we refresh our page, we can see that the shape has the correct color. 
Let us create the sheet of paper now. Create a new variable for it called shape2 and initialize it using path2d's constructor again. The canvas API has a method called rect to create a rectangle. As the first two arguments to this method, we must specify the coordinates of the top left corner of the rectangle. I am going to use x plus 20 as the x coordinate and y minus 20 as the y coordinate. Next, we must specify the width and height of the rectangle. So, use width minus 40 as the width and the height can stay the same. Pass the shape to the context fill method. As for its color, I am going to use deep orange 500. So, copy the hex value here and use it to set the fill style property. Okay, let's start creating the two triangles now. Create a new variable called shape3 to represent the first triangle and initialize it using the path2d constructor. The canvas API doesn't have any method to draw triangles either. So, we must use the move2 and line2 methods again. First, use move2 to specify that our starting point is same as the reference point. Next, use the line2 method to draw the first two sides. The coordinates must be fairly obvious to you by now. And finally, use the close path method to close the triangle. Create the last triangle too in the same way. However, the first point of this triangle is the top right corner of the envelope. So, pass x plus width as the x coordinate to the move to method. The y coordinate still stays the same. Once that is done, use the line to and close path methods to draw the sides of the triangle. Pass both the triangles to the fill method of the canvas to render them. For the first triangle, I am using teal 700 as the color. So, copy its hex value and use it to change context.fill style. For the second triangle, I am using teal 500 as the color. Copy its hex value again and use it to change the fill style property. We can see that our illustration is ready now. But some designers like to add subtle shadows to their illustrations. So let me quickly show you how to do that now. We are going to add shadows to the two triangles in our illustration. So just before we render them, use context.shadowblur and add a shadow of 5 units. To specify the color of the shadow, use context.shadowcolor. I am going to use black as the color of the shadow. Our illustration now has shadows and does look slightly better in my opinion. You now know how to create simple illustrations using the HTML5 Canvas API.